Are you IC Orlando? We got another one. Yeah. And I know y'all been waiting. Me too. I've been waiting for a long time, long time. Waiting on the day of retribution. I've been waiting for a long time. You see how the Lord feels about you? You are above every person that's walking this earth. Every person that's walking this earth, you are above them. Some people might say that's racist. What do you think? You think that's racist? God is racist. That is racist. When you when you saying that one people, one group of people is better than everybody else, you shining them. You mean you saying that there's nothing? Give me that Isaiah 40. Bring it out. I'm gonna show you how God feels about the other nations. The book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. A drop of a bucket. If you got a bucket of water and a little drop spill out, you gonna care about that little drop? You still got a whole bucket of water, right? That's how the Lord feel about the other nations, you know? And are counted as the small dust of the balance. How much does uh, dust weigh on a scale? Does it, that's what God says. These other nations are nothing. He's going to say it. Yeah. Verse 17. All nations before him are as nothing. All nations are what? Are as nothing. That's racist. God, even though he created them, he don't care nothing about them. You read that? And they are counted to him less than nothing. Less than nothing. What's less than nothing? What's less than zero? <laughs> That's how God feel about them. Less than nothing. Read up. Uh, give me, uh, give me uh, Proverbs 8, 17. We better show you that. Like God, he, he loves us, but it's, it's conditional love. The, the church teaches that it's unconditional. That he's going to love us regardless or whatever. But we're going to teach how God feels. Read up. Bring it out. The book of Proverbs. Chapter 8, verse 17. I love them that love me. So if you don't love God, he don't love you. How do you love God again? Give me that first John. How do you love him? What's that? I can't hear you, brother. <laughs> We're going to read you what love is, bro. The book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God. Be very specific. This is how you love God. We don't. That we keep his commandments. So if you want God to love you back, first you got to show God that you love him by keeping his commandments. That's the only way. Give me, um, give me John uh, uh, 3, 16. Because this is the reason why a lot of people think that God loves everybody. Right. Because they took this one scripture completely out of context. When you read in the Old Testament, God always said that he only loved the Israelites. That's right. But when we get into the New Testament, they think that God changed his mind all of a sudden. Right. But we know that God, he does not change. You read about that in Malachi 3 and 6. Read that. John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, Christian, they'll read that as they close the Bible thing. Amen. Mm -hmm. All praises. Go back. Go eat the pork. Break all type of commandments. God's still going to love it. But we're going to give you the correct understanding of it. Starting on verse 14. John chapter 3, verse 14. Now you got to put it in this cultural context, you know? And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Christ said, yeah, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must uh, the Son of Man be lifted up. Give me uh, Numbers 21.6. Who did Moses lift up the serpent to? Bring it out. We're going to teach you, bro. The book of Numbers, chapter 21, verse 6. And the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they did bite the people. And much of the people of Israel died. So most people of Israel died, not all nations. So Christ is speaking in John 3, 16 about the Israelites. That's the right. same way that Moses lifted up the serpent. Give me that in John again. Read that. John chapter 3, verse 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. So even as Moses lifted up the serpent unto the Israelites, the same way Christ is going to be lifted up for the Israelites. Read on. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish. It says, but whosoever. Now everybody thinking, okay, whosoever, that's talking about any, any person. Give me that. 
the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call in the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. So who is the whosoever that we're reading about in John 3, 16? Exactly. That's right. Read again. Read that. John. The book of John, chapter 3, verse 15. Mm -hmm. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish. So any Israelite that believeth in Christ should not perish. How do you believe? Let me say Rod 32. Bring it out. How do you, huh? Because belief is an action word. Right. In order to perform a belief, you got to put forth action. I can't say I'm going uh, to run a mile if I never train. I'm going to be gassed out before I hit one lap. Right. Right? So you got to put forth action. Read on. The book of Sirach, chapter 32, verse 24. He that believeth in the Lord. So he that put forth that action of belief of believing in the Lord. Read on. Take it heed to the commandments. You're going to notice that everything goes back to the commandment. That's right. That's everything right. always goes back to the commandment. Give me uh, John 3, 16 again. So in order to believe in Christ so you won't perish, you got to be keeping God's commandment. You understand that? You know? John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Give me uh, John 18, 20. We better show you who that world is. Because world is not talking about everybody. Right. You got to put it in its context. You have sea world. You're not talking about lions, tigers, tigers and bears, right? You have the sports world. Right. You have different type of world. Third world. When you think of a third world country, you don't think of America. Right. right. So who is the world that uh, 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 Christ is speaking about in John 3.16? Bring it out. Exactly. We're going to read that, you know? The book of John, chapter 18 and verse 20. Jesus answered him, I spake openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple whither the Jews always resort. So the world is the Jews according to Christ. That's right. According to Christ, out of his own mouth. He said that he only spoke openly to the world, which are the Jews. That's right. Give me John 16 again. 316. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Let me get uh, John 7, 17 now. You're going to stay on that world for a minute. You know? The book of John, chapter 17, verse 9. I pray for them. You pray for them, the Israelites, we don't. I pray not for the world. Everybody else. See how he separated it? He separated Israel from everybody else. I pray for them. I don't pray for nobody else. So, John 3, 16, it's clearly that you know that he's talking about the Israelites. That's, That's who he's so right. love. Give me uh, Isaiah 45, 17. Bring it out. Just going to bring it all home. of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. You notice how he'll never say nothing about the other nation. That's it's right. always about Israel from, from cover to cover. The book is only about you, bro. You understand that, Rito? Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. World without end. That's why these, these Christian churches are set up on every corner. Right. They keep you from this understanding. If our people knew how great they was and that God only loved them, we would have been home by now. We would have been out of these conditions. Right. Read that again. John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world. The Israelites were on. That he gave his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. That whosoever. Of the Israelites were on. Believeth in him. Mm -hmm. Whoever kept his commandments, you know, should not perish, but have everlasting life. So who did God give his uh, commandments to? So Christ said that he that believeth who keep his commandments should not perish. Right. Give me that in, uh, in uh, uh, Psalms 147. We're going to show you who the laws are given to. Read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 147 and verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Uh -huh. He hath not dealt so with any nation. He showed his statute, meaning the Bible. He showed his Bible unto the, uh, the children of Israel. That's he right. had never given this Bible to nobody other people. This is not an international book. Right, right. The book only belongs to us, brother. So-called right, black, right. Hispanic, and Native Indians. That's you the right. Israelites according to the Bible. That's Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. 
Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.